All right, welcome back to the show. Glad you're here. I want to welcome to the show Chef Tim Spinner. He is the chef of Taqueria Amor in Philadelphia. Hey, uh, Tim, good morning. Thanks for making time. How are you? Hey, of course. Thanks for having me. Great. Sure. Thank I uh, I saw you on Fox and Friends yesterday with uh, with Jillian. You had a really uh, nice chat. Are you, are you friends with her, or was that just an interview you just did? No, just an interview. I mean, I, of okay. course, a lot of us being around here know who she is. So. Sure, sure, of course. Uh, so so Taqueria Amor. Uh, now, where are you guys located? We're right on Main Street, Maniunk. Nice. I love Maniunk. Maniunk's one of, the, I think, Philly's uh, best neighborhoods. It's a lot of fun. And as you pointed out yesterday on the, on the interview, a lot of people come there to do shopping and uh, to do eating. And so you wanted to brighten up the place a little bit. Uh, what'd you do? I mean, so we were planning like this Christmas takeover since last year. I mean, right after the, uh, right after Christmas last year, I went out to like Home Depot, Lowe's and Michael's and all that and started stocking up on uh, a bunch of Christmas decor. Um, but after like this whole pandemic hit, we decided to take our like this Christmas takeover thing to another level. So, um, you know, our 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 whole building is adorned with lights. Uh, you know, from uh, actually like it's like five buildings in a row. Uh, we got blowups everywhere, and, and and just like super super, you know, like all decked out Christmas, like more yeah. than what you could imagine. You know, we we kind of went overboard. So it's awesome. I love it. It looks like something out of a, out of a movie or something. It's just lit up and you could, I just wonder, can they see it from space, Tim? That's my only question. I, uh, you know what? They probably can. I mean, the inspiration <laughs> came from like that whole, you know, I think what like, Disney, uh, Hollywood studios, uh, they had that whole Christmas display, Osborne family Christmas display. So it was like inspired by that. So it has a similar feel. And we're hoping like, this is the first year of many. We're hoping that, all the businesses on Main Street eventually will do something like this. I think uh, this year you're going to see Manny on more lit up than ever. I think people have been inspired by it, and I think we're hoping to make this something huge in the future. What I, what I love about what you're doing is it, it really is brightening up the entire neighborhood and the city, and it's showing so much spirit, and, uh, and, and I love that. I also love it. It's a little bit I gotta, – I got to ask the question. Are you a fan of Christmas Vacation? Uh, yeah, yeah. I actually yeah. saw it in the movies when I was in fifth grade. So You did. Perfect. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit, too. You know, you just go all out. I love it. it. It definitely has that feeling. I mean, honestly, I've been doing, like, I've been, I was decorating my parents' house as a kid when I was, you know, seven or eight years old. When I was 12 years old, they let me go up on a roof and I was putting lights. And I've continued that tradition at my house. Um, you know, probably not as crazy as we we did at the restaurant, but I do have, like, the whole, my whole front facade of my house is covered in lights like that and i got all the old school plastic ornaments all over the place and you know i put music behind i got like a whole christmas caroler like ensemble that i have music That's behind awesome. so That's i kind of i kind of go a little bit crazy uh that way too so uh tim spinner's here he's el jefe he's the uh the, the head guy at uh, taqueria amor the head chef and the owner and uh, it's great to have him on the show today uh, this has been tough for you guys, and I, I know now that obviously with the new rules that uh, you can't have any booze served past 5 p.m. tomorrow. Is, is I mean, what's that going to be like? I mean, it's like, obviously, you know, uh, you know, the day before Thanksgiving is one of the biggest drinking nights of the year. Yeah. I understand where they're coming from, but at the same time, like, you know, maybe end it at 8 or 9. You know, like, let people go out. I mean, nobody gets or drink inside everybody's outside and everybody it's it's four people to a table our tables are you know 10 12 feet apart so i think it, it's going overboard um you know they keep trying to knock us down but you know we're philly we're like rocky we we take a pound and we keep getting back up and we'll, we'll do it again so you know what, whatever they keep giving it to us you know we keep we're always having to pivot and it is frustrating and there is Everything they do, there is no plan behind. All right, we're going to shut you guys down, but we're not going to tell you how you guys are going to pay your rent. Or, you know, there's just nothing out there for us. And, and it's been quite frustrating. Everything they've asked us to do, we've done. Whether it's putting up barriers, you know, everybody wears masks and, and the face shields and we're, we're wearing gloves and, you know, uh, you know, built these outdoor structures. And uh, we've done everything they've asked. But, um, you know, again, I understand, but it, it, it has been difficult and we'll just keep pivoting and we'll keep doing what we're told to do. And just, you know, we'll get through it. It's going to be a tough winter, but we'll get through and we'll be, we'll come out on top and come the spring. Tim, do you feel 
like the city has given you guys uh, a sense of uh, empathy, compassion, of understanding what you're going through, or has it just been dictates? It's more di- just dictates. You know, they're they're yeah. really. I mean, you've you've listened to some of those uh, press conferences. Um, you know, there's the uh, whatever the health minister, Doctor Far, the other day, Doctor Farley, where he said, uh, we, you know, we understand this is going to be difficult for some people. We understand, uh, you know, people are going to lose their jobs and people are going to businesses are going to go under. This guy's probably worked in, in, you know, he's a doctor, but he's also probably worked in, in, you know, public policy or whatever for his whole life. So he doesn't understand the grind it is to, to run a business like a, a restaurant or, you know, to own a gym. I mean, these poor gyms, I mean, they're, they have it worse than us. You can't, you can't have anybody in your facility, even if it's one-on-one personal training. I mean, what are, what are we supposed to do? So the lack of empathy, um, you know, from people who don't understand what it's like to run a small business is quite frustrating and to not have a plan behind everything they're doing is frustrating. Again, I understand what they're doing, but have a plan to back up what you're doing and and to help a lot of these small businesses out. Tim Spinner joins me from Taqueria Amor. How do you do the whole four people to a table and they can't be from the same household? I mean, are you, are you supposed to check IDs or something? How does that work? You just ask. I mean, there's nothing more you could do. You, you, you're really not checking IDs and checking addresses, but, you know, you're yeah. hoping people are honest and are following the rules, and, and that's all we could do. But, um, you know, it's something difficult uh, that has to be done. But, again, you know, it, it's hard to regulate, um, but we're trying our best. Were you able to get heat lamps for outdoor dining? Yeah, I bought them back in August. So, Smart. Um, we Smart were, we you can't get them now, for, right? You can't. I, they're starting to pop up here and there, but, you know, there are, like, I think I paid uh, a little over 200 for them, and I know now they're over 300 So, wow. I mean, the investment in all of this has been unreal, you know, on all the outdoor tables, and we bought these giant, you know, like the construction barriers to, to block off the street to make it safe for people to eat, uh, you know, in the parking spots there. And, you know, it's just it's just one thing after the next that you're investing in, so. Uh, and then you invested in this this beautiful, massive Christmas takeover display, which is so many people are loving this, Tim, and just feeling like you're brightening up the entire neighborhood and the city. And, and uh, it's, you know, it's made national news. And I, I thank you for doing that. I mean, obviously, it's another expense on top of all these other expenses you've had uh, with making less money right now. So, you know, thank, I mean, thank you for doing that. Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, it's something I, yeah, I wish we kind of we did it inside, too, and I wish people were able to see what we've done inside. I guess if you go to the bathroom, you can use our bathroom to check out what we've done inside. But um, I don't care what holiday you, you celebrate. This is something for everybody to enjoy, like to, to be in awe of, of the spectacle of the, of the, of the lights on the outside of the building. So it's, it is, it is great. And I'm, you know, I, I'm just happy to, to be, be able to give back and for people to enjoy something special during this time right now. Well, your food is awesome. I used to, uh, I used to eat your food at La Calaca. My wife and I used to love that place. We'd go there all the time, and uh, I, I, I'm, I'm excited to come to Taqueria Amor when, when as soon as we can. We've got little kids. It's a little bit tough right now to eat outside, as you can imagine. But yeah, uh, but you, but I'm really excited to try. As I look at your menu for the Christmas takeover. Uh, I'm an old fashioned guy and you've got an old fashioned on here that everything's inspired from Dr. Seuss and the Grinch who stole Christmas. So heat misers, old fashioned. Can we talk about that for a second? Cause that sounds amazing. Yeah. I mean, you know, muddled, uh, orange and, uh, you know, uh, Anejo tequila. I mean, it's just, you know, something that, uh, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, uh, what else did we put in there? We got some spice uh, in there, a little bit of uh, of uh, pi- what is it, pilon pilon chilo? Oh, is that what you Yep, pilon chilo. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a brown sugar uh, to sweeten it up a little bit. But it's it, it, you know it's something that knocks your socks off. Uh, my go-to has been the uh, Cindy Lou's spiked yuho. So I mean, <laughs> you know, for uh, you know, I grew up drinking yuho, and it's got to be yuho in a can or yuho in a bottle. You can't have not you in a drink box because that doesn't taste the same but basically our riff on a on a white russian but we we uh add some yuho to that so that that's killer right there that's great that's great well listen i i i you know i my best to you man i i really my heart uh goes out to everybody in in your industry right now and you know, when I saw the interview you did in Fox and Friends, I said I got to get Tim on the show because I think if you know, people should 
drive by the restaurant if nothing else and, and see it and maybe order some takeout and get some cocktails to go. You can still get cocktails to go, which is good. So, you know, maybe I'll get a couple of cocktails to go and, uh, and, and celebrate and, you know, just keep the faith, man. I, 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 I would hate for this to become one of those events where we lose out on amazing restaurants like yours, Tim. So, you know, keep the faith, brother. It sounds like you're a very optimistic guy. Hey, yeah, I mean, you got to be, you know, I, I, I was kind of mentally prepared for, for what's going to happen this, this winter. So, you know, we'll keep fighting and we'll keep doing what we do. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you. appreciate the kind words and appreciate you having us on. Tim Spinner, Takaria and more. Happy Thanksgiving, my friend. We'll talk again soon. Same to you. Thank you very much. The Rich Zioli Show on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT.